Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will discuss critical path method. Critical path method is used to find out the longest duration path on the network diagram so that we can calculate, we can find out that how much should be the project duration or how much should be the minimum duration of this project. I will first explain you one very simple concept in a very easy example and then I will uh, discuss some more examples. So let's say we have one project with the name of make dinner and the start time is 8 p.m. Let's say we have two activities make biryani and make raita. Biryani will take 60 minutes and raita will take 10 minutes. This is our estimate. So if we start both activities or uh, this project at 8 p.m. we can finish this project by 9 p.m. assuming there is no interdependency and same resource can work on both activities. Now in the same example very very example a uh, very important example and very important columns here uh, important concepts if you see this the same example biryani 60 minutes duration is 60 minutes and raita duration is 10 minutes. I have added five columns here earliest start or early start, earliest finish or early finish, latest start or latest late start or latest finish or late finish ES, EF, LS and LF and float. Assuming that there is no interdependency and there is no predecessor for biryani so we can start biryani as soon as the project starts. So project start is 8 p.m. so we can start biryani not before 8 p.m. Same is the case with raita. So first column very easy that how early we can start this activity as there is no predecessor so we can start both activities at 8 not before that and as the biryani duration is 60 minutes so we will add 60 into 8 and raita is 10 minutes so we will add 10 in 8 p.m. so it will get 9 p.m. as earliest possible finish for biryani and 8 10 earliest possible finish for raita so I hope these two columns are very easy for uh, you now to understand on this side, latest start, latest finish. We know the project duration is 60 minutes. We have to uh, get these things ready by 9 p.m. So latest finish for both activities will become 9 p.m. In order to finish biryani by 9 p.m., we should start it before the duration of the biryani. So that means 9 minus 60 will give you 8 p.m. And 9 minus 10 will get, give you 8.50. So that means biryani must be started maximum by 8 p.m. And raita must be started maximum by 8.50. So now you notice that in biryani there is no flexibility. We cannot start before it. We cannot start after it. So there is zero flexibility. So that's why the float is zero. And raita we cannot start before it. But if we want we can start at 8.15 also, 8.30 also, 8.45 also. But maximum by 8.50 so that we can give 10 minutes to finish it by 9 p.m. So the float on Raita will be 50 minutes. The float is the amount of duration by which you can delay an activity without affecting the project target completion date or without delaying the whole project. So this is the concept of earliest start, earliest finish, latest start, latest finish and float. So that means latest start is the time by which maximum you should start this activity otherwise it will delay the project. Now one more example let's say we have nine activities a b c d e f g h i durations are given here predecessors are given here so we have to calculate the duration of this project so how to calculate so we make network diagram like this first of all start node and a and b are the two activities which can be started without waiting for any predecessor any prerequisite so that's why we can start immediately c can be started after A, D can be started after A, E can be started after A. So, just, so what we will do, we will make like this, C, D and E. And just like this, we will finish this diagram. Now, in this diagram, we have to find the paths between start and end node. Start, we can go to A, C, H and I second path this is ACHI another path A, D, G and I 
another path A, E, F, G and I. Last path B, H and I. So we have these four paths and now when we add the duration of each activity on this path from this table A is 5, B is 6, so when we will add all these numbers on the path so we will get the duration of each path. ADGI is 24 days, ACHI is 23 days, AEFGI is 26 days, BHI is 20 days. So now how much should be the project duration? Longest path A, E, F, G and I. 26 days is the minimum time required to finish this project. Now we will calculate earliest start, earliest finish, latest start, latest finish and float. Assuming the project starts from one, day one, first working day, assuming all the days are working, no, no weekend, no holiday in between. So A will start on first morning and we will give five days to A to finish on fifth evening. So one, two, three, four, five. First morning A will start, fifth evening A will finish. Assuming the project starts on day one. B, it will start on one morning and sixth evening it will finish. C depends on A. So we have to see this number. That fifth evening A is finishing, so next morning we can start C. So if you follow the arrows here, C depends on A, A is finishing on 5, so that's why we can start C on 6th morning. And it needs 4 days, so 6th day, 7th day, 8th day and 9th day. So 9th evening C will finish. D also depends on A, so 6, 7 and 8. E also depends on A, 1 day only, 6th morning it will start, 6th evening it will finish. F depends on E. So that means E is finishing on 6, so we can start F on 7th morning and it will need 4 days 7, 8, 9 and 10. G depends on two activities. D, D is finishing on 8 and F is finishing on 10. So we can start G on 11th morning. So 11 plus 14 minus 1, 24. H depends on B and C, 6 and 9. So we can start on 10. 10 plus 12 minus 1, 21. And I depends on two activities, G and H, 21 and 24. So 25th morning it will start and 26th evening it will finish. This is called as forward pass. Now the backward pass. All these calculations are done in Primavera automatically. When we press as F9 or when we press, uh, we click on schedule, it automatically calculates all this. But theory wise, PMP wise and conceptually you should understand this thing. Now backward pass. Backward pass means we know I is the last activity. I should finish by 26th evening because 26th is the duration of the project. So in order to finish I on 26th evening, we should give it two days. The duration of I is two. So 26th day and 25th day. Now I cannot start on 25th morning. If I does not start on 25th morning, it will delay the project because this is the latest start of I. In order to finish, in order to start I on 25th morning, we must finish G and H before 25th morning, which is 24. So 24 and 24, in order to start I on 25th morning, its predecessor G and H must be finished by maximum by 24th evening. So now we can subtract 24 minus duration 12 plus 1, 13 and 24 minus 14 plus 1, 11. Now second activity H depends on B and C must start by 13 so that means B and C must finish by 12 and 12. So now we will subtract the durations 12 minus 4 plus 1 9 and 12 minus 6 plus 1 7. Next activity is G. G depends on D and F must start by 11. So that means D and F must finish by 10 and 10. So 10 minus 4 plus 1, 7 and 10 minus 3 plus 1, 8. Next activity is F. F depends on E must start by 7. So that means E must finish by 6. 6 minus 1 plus 1 will also give you 6. Next activity is E. E depends on A. Must start by 6, so that means A must finish by 5. <coughs> 5 minus 5 plus 1 will give you 1. Next activity is D. Don't leave it here. Process all the activities, then maybe you can 
change some numbers also. So D also depends on A and must start by 8 so that means A must finish by 7 so, and because of 7 we will get 3 here 7 minus 5 plus 1 3 next activity C C also depends on A and must start by 9 so A must finish by 8 here because of this relationship we will get 8 here and 8 minus 5 3 plus 1 4 now B has no predecessor no ambiguity here also so without changing any number B is also done and A has also no predecessor but we have multiple values here so remember whenever we have more than one values in the backward pass we take the smallest number so 1 and 5 we will keep for A and float float is either the difference between finish columns or start columns 5 minus 5 is 0 1 minus 1 also 0 12 minus 6 6 7 minus 1 also 6 12 minus 9 3 9 minus 6 also 3 10 minus 8 2 8 minus 6 also 2 6 minus 6 0 10 minus 10 0 24 minus 24 0 24 minus 21 3 and 26 minus 26 0 and if I filter these activities on zero float means if I show only the zero float activities you will notice one thing that it is showing you only the critical path so this is a cross verification of your calculation that it was correct A, E, F, G and I and if you add these it will give you 26 days one more example here I suggest you just note it down and practice it yourself this is the solution of this exercise so the critical path is A D, E, H and I 19 days. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum.